All right, welcome back to the Fire Post. Hope everyone's enjoying their year so far. Colorado just uh, did away with the mask mandate, so we're all mask free and getting ready to open our lives up again. In the meantime, I scored another little Facebook Marketplace find. This is a Rogue Monster Flat Bench 2.0, so it has the the two legs in the back and the single leg in the front. You do see that I have the uh, stainless steel knurled handle. Just got that in. That's probably the cheapest upgrade <laughs> Rogue offers, right? 30 something dollars for a, an Ohio bar knurled stainless steel handle. So it's got the Ohio bar knurling on it, uh, which is a little more passive than some of their others, but that's fine. Look, man, you're picking it up and wheeling it, right? You're not, <laughs> you're not, not setting a PR with the handle. But uh, the guy had a Thompson fat pad on it as well. He, was a, um, he wasn't a big dude. When I went to pick it up from him, he was like, what are you gonna bring to pick it up? And I'm like, I'll have an SUV. And he's like, you might need a truck. This thing is so heavy. And I'm like, well, it's a 68 pound bench and, and, you know, and a couple pounds for the pad. So if you're thinking that's heavy, this may, not be the, <laughs> this may not be the bench for you. But yeah, I grabbed it. It's in immaculate shape. He bought it uh, during the pandemic, he said, and never, just it just was too wide for him. You know, he wasn't that, that large of a guy. This is the Thompson, so it's the 14 and a half across variety. It is um, not the shorty. So for people that are kind of 5'10 and below that want to use a lot of leg drive off the floor, this one's 19 and a half inches at the top. Um, and the shorty version, I believe, gets you down in that 16 to 17 range, more like what the competition height would be. Um, my friends that were also looking at this when this came up to buy, that didn't buy it because of the height, you know, I would have just told them to put some stall mats down or something, right? I mean, we have the stall mats over there. You can see them on the floor that we dropped the Atlas stones on. I mean, just, I have a couple sets of those. Just put those down by your feet and that would raise you up enough to get your leg drive. But Good for me, bad for them. I priced this thing out with the handle and everything. Um, it was gonna be $477 to get it here to Colorado. I paid him 180 for the bench and the handle, the $35 handle also had $20 in shipping. <laughs> so I'm at, I'm at 230 uh, on this, on this you know, basically brand new, awesome bench that um, would have been 477. So we feel really good about it. I feel like Facebook Marketplace is absolutely slowing down. I think he could have gotten, well, first of all, last year during, you know, the height of the, the whole situation here where we were flipping gym equipment for gold bars, I think he could have started this at $350 and people would have bid it up. He started this at $145 and I reached out and said, are you, are you being serious? Are you trolling people? <laughs> what are you doing? And he's like, man, the bids are up to 160. If you do 160, you can have it. And I was like, I'm gonna give you 180 and you're gonna pull the ad down immediately. So I Venmoed him 180, he pulled the ad down and then I, I arranged to go get it in a couple days. He was really cool. I was a little nervous about floating someone, any kind of money, right? I mean, even, even a couple hundred bucks is annoying if you get taken. So um, he knew he was, the fact that I was willing to float him that for this, you know, he understood that he was doing me a favor. And when I dropped it off, he asked me how high I should have gone. And I told him I would have started at 350 and, and just saw what happened. I know I sold to make kind of room for this. I had a, a utility bench, not the monster, but the utility with a normal competition fat pad. I listed it for 300 and it sold in a couple hours. So the fact that this was, you know, I took that 300, bought this and had a little bit of money left over was phenomenal. Anyway, please uh, feel free to ask me any questions. I benched on it a little bit. Um, I don't put myself in video as much, but you can see like, I'm a, how do I, how do I show this off? Yeah, I'm a little bit wider guy. <laughs> so the 14 and a half inches works for me really well. If you're a smaller person, um, this may not be for you. This may be too wide. And that's why that standard competition offering, which is the same price at Rogue, you know, takes it down to 12 and a half from 14 and a half. And then you can always get the 11 inch version, which is what this would have come with if you just bought the bench itself for 295 before tax and shipping from Rogue, you would get a normal 11 inch pad. So that's something to consider depending on the size of person you are. Um, but the wheels and the handle in the back, man, they sold it because we gotta, as you guys know, we gotta prop this thing up. So I always 
when I do my little bench reviews. I mean, this is where, that's where that thing's gonna live, right? Out of the way, so we can still squat in there. Um, and then the AB2 has actually been kinda, love it still, but it's kinda been relegated to just accessory work now. So just incline bench, um, dumbbell work, rows, and the like. I won't sell it, it's not gonna go anywhere, but it's interesting, because I got that to kinda be the king of all benches, and then this just showed up. I mean, what are you supposed to do? 180 bucks, 50 bucks. And I didn't need the handle, right? Like, it's not like he gave it to me with the normal version of the handle. So I could, I could be sitting here at 180 bucks for that, and that would be phenomenal. But anyway, got any questions, comments, concerns? If there's anything else you want to see a video on, we're kind of out of stuff. But, you know, I haven't done a video on that sandbag. I haven't talked much about the Monster Bells except for on Instagram. I haven't talked about the Med Balls. Um... I'm going to do, this is the Sorenex uh, ham roller, ham, hamstring roller. I'm going to do a video on that next. Um, I think everything else we've pretty much covered. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to see anything else, the next video you'll see from me after the, the hammy machine down there is probably going to be the three-year check-in. So I'll cover everything, including what we paid for it in that video. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Talk to you later.